So webinars, e-marketing, website traffic we've talked about so far, all marketing and lead gen related. And now we're going to transition into more of a sales related, still lead gen, but sales related KPI family uh, where we look at our inbound leads and, and where are they coming from. Um, we keep using the, the phraseology of which, what's measure, measured gets done, what's measured gets improved. We're putting all these efforts into lead gen. We want to make sure that we're getting enough leads and we're getting enough appointments from each one of these campaigns to make it worth our while. So easy metrics to, to monitor, actually easy is the wrong word, simple, I'll say, metrics to monitor are leads and appointments for each different initiative. So today's web seminar, afterwards I'll determine how many leads do we receive and how many appointments are scheduled from those leads to determine the value of this web seminar from a, a lead gen perspective. And you need to do the same thing for email campaigns over time. You'll see uh, are those leads atrophying, are they growing, are you getting more appointments or less appointments and what dials can you turn to make sure that you're optimizing your results. Same goes for website and social media generated leads. Uh, when somebody fills out your website form, uh, do you get that person to commit to an appointment or does that type of lead often go by the wayside and how much time should your producers be allocating to that type of lead. Also measure calls per appointment. How many times do your producers have to dial the phone or visit somebody before they can get them to commit to an actual sales appointment, a, a top of the funnel sales appointment and are those efforts being optimized as well. So moving on to uh, the, ne the next portion of our, our lead centric uh, measurements, Alan's going to talk about conversions, where the money's really made um, from an inbound lead standpoint. So as John mentioned, tracking, particularly the, as, as you go lower in the funnel, the pipeline, tracking what happens there is very important and using KPIs to help you see this, to give you visibility, is crucial without taking a lot of time. Uh, so for example, I might look at my lead source per month and my appointment conversion by source. Uh, because ultimately, as you get way down the funnel, you're going to have a certain number of appointments. Your producers are going to call on X number of appointments per month, and you're going to get Y number of closes per month. Uh, so before we get way down in the funnel, getting closer to the end, we want to talk, okay, leads are coming in from these five lead sources. Here's how many appointments are coming with each. And of course, terrific if you track it by producer. That's one greater level of granularity. John will talk about that in a minute.